Good morning, you guys. I'm wearing the same exact sweatshirt I was wearing in my last vlog. I did not get a lot of sleep last night. I am moving out of my Chicago apartment this week and also just moving out of Chicago as a whole. So this is a crazy week for me. I packed up and like kind of organized a bunch of stuff yesterday. All the stuff in boxes is my ex-boyfriend's because all of my stuff is going to be going in suitcases with my parents that are coming to help me and bring a bunch of suitcases so we can fly with everything later this week. But until then, it is my last week in Chicago. It's Monday morning, bright and early kind of. It's like 9 a.m. I need to log on to the work day. And then pretty soon I'm having some cleaners that are gonna be coming and cleaning my apartment while I'm working from home and stuff, which will be good. It's just, it's like messy. And since we're having a subletter, I thought it'd be good to have like a nice deep clean before she moves in of everything. And yeah, this is what like the bedroom is looking like. Again, it's like we're leaving all the furniture here. So that's nice because they don't have to deal with moving all of the furniture. But I do need to try to sell a couple things this week if I can. I also in that suitcase over there is stuff I need to take to Goodwill. I want to try to get that done today. We have a busy day ahead of us. Tomorrow is an office day. I'm ready for that. And then I'm off Wednesday through Friday. But but it's like I leave Friday night and I have a lot of plans those days like with my parents and stuff So today is kind of like my last full day just like to myself I guess in the apartment really so there's a lot to get done But I'm excited. I'm really tired. I'm I made a tea, but I think I'm gonna have to make a coffee soon I just like I've been feeling really congested I think because I haven't been getting enough sleep So tea in the morning has felt really nice, but I think we're gonna need to upgrade to coffee soon if you are new here I can introduce myself. I am Lucia. I'm 24. I live in Chicago and I work in time and advertising. Well, I obviously, I don't really live in Chicago anymore. This is my last week. I'm just so used to saying that. I'm moving to New York City. So this is the second vlog in my moving series, which is so crazy. It's gonna be a long moving series because I don't even have an apartment yet in New York. I'm just kind of gonna go there. I have a place to stay for a couple months and then just kind of figure it out once I get there. I'm keeping the same job. I got a lot of questions about the job thing. My company has an office in that area, so I'm able to just transfer to that office location. And that office actually is a lot more like in-person oriented, which will be super nice. I'm pumped for that. I'm really excited to move to New York and I really already have a great support system there, which is gonna be great. But it is just really emotional closing this chapter and leaving Chicago, because I spent nearly three years here. Before that, I was in Evanston, which was so close and like leaving this apartment is kind of like really closing the chapter on my relationship that I was in for five and a half years and yeah it's just a really hard and emotion filled time but I know that everything will work out everything will be for the best so I'm just reminding myself that but I also am very excited and I'm excited I'm taking this leap this risk and just going for it because that's just what you have to do i don't want to put my life on pause and like you know move back to louisiana for three months and then not be in like a good routine and not be independent like i really want to just like go straight into starting my new life in this new chapter so that is my plan now you guys we are figuring it out so for the to-do list today i have work basically that's the main thing that i need to focus on especially since i'm off wednesday through friday i gotta get a lot done today and tomorrow i have a brand deal that needs to go live i'm working with poshmark on tiktok which is exciting i need to drop off my donations at goodwill i think i'm gonna do that this afternoon before my workout class i'm going to barry's they randomly gave my apartment building like each person got two free classes to barry's so i booked some because I love berries, so I'm excited about that. I have a little bit of editing to do. I want to post an Instagram story of my mirror, my little table, and another little table that I want to try and sell this week. I really need to get with the program on that. And then I really want to try and pack up my nightstand, my bathroom, my filing cabinet, and my kitchen, which definitely will take time but that's kind of the last things i need to like organize and pack and tomorrow i just want to be focused on work day in the office catching up with some friends and then editing and also tonight 
after my workout class, I have dinner at Abba, which is my favorite restaurant in Chicago. So I'm excited to go there for the last time. Hopefully I'll be back when I visit Chicago and stuff. I'm going with my friend Gian, who you guys probably know. So that will be a good time. Just like kind of saying goodbye to people and seeing people for the last time. Tomorrow will be my last time with all the Chicago people in the office and stuff. It's crazy, but we're doing it. Yay, okay. Guys, I am gonna be excited. I need that energy because I am excited. It's just like a lot and I'm overwhelmed and I'm stressed and I'm emotional, but I am gonna be excited because I am excited. And I'm just gonna lean more into that this week because I think that'll help me get me through and keep me motivated and just keep everything good. And if I wanna cry next week, I mean, I can cry this week too, but you guys know what I mean. I just want to try and stay a bit more upbeat. Yes, that's the plan for the day. The cleaners are coming pretty soon, so I'm not going to vlog when they are there, but I will catch up with you guys after. And let's have a good week. My last week in Chicago. Let's do it. Okay, you guys, the apartment is so clean. It's 1.14 now, so it's basically been the whole day, I feel like. Gotten a lot of work done. I've been just, I feel like running around like a crazy person, but just while sitting at my desk. I'm so hungry. I'm about to go pick up a crepe from Brew. No groceries this week. I mean, that's the vibe. The fridge is like super cleaned out, which is amazing. So fresh in here. I mean, there's still like a few little things, but so nice and clean i'm gonna go pick up my crepe get it done is the cleaning service if you're in chicago that came and cleaned they do move out cleans and you can use the code lucia 50 off to get 50 dollars off your order if you want it's amazing they really got like under the couch and everything they they cleaned up everything it looks great okay let's go get some lunch i'm starving you guys my floor length mirror is gone i'm actually emo i was obsessed with this how am i gonna do my outfit checks i mean i'm only here for a few more days so it's fine but rip my mirror there's so much space here now <laughs> the power of the internet is insane and like social media because i literally just posted about that a couple hours ago on my instagram story and within minutes got someone to claim it and within hours they were here picking it up which is just insane i also found someone that wants to take this today and i also found someone that wants to take this today so that's cool now i'm like i should have tried to sell more of my furniture but i'm just gifting a lot of it to the subletter but yeah nice to make some extra cash and just get rid of this stuff instead of having to like throw it out or something because i don't know what else i would have done with it okay guys i feel like i had so much caffeine today i mean it's the normal amount i have but maybe just because i don't even know my head is just spinning this is so weird i think it's just like the adrenaline of the situation i'm gonna try to just like drink a lot of water right now <laughs> i feel like that'll be good for me i think i'm just like running on pure adrenaline and that's what it is just like i hate staring at screens i feel like i've been staring at screens for way too long i'm like it's hurting my eyes i don't know how to describe it i think i'm just going crazy so much happening i'm about to hop on to a work call it's my last work call of the day though which will be good but yeah just a lot to do so let's get to it oh my god i I hope my head feels better. Okay, guys, it's 3.15. I was hoping I would be able to finish work early, but honestly, I just have so much stuff I need to do before the end of day, and I have a various class that I want to go to five. So it was so ambitious of me and completely unrealistic of me to think that I could go rent to Goodwill in between that time. I don't know what I was thinking, honestly. I'm pushing Goodwill to tomorrow because it's just way too much for today. I'm going a little crazy. My eyes are so puffy. I just need to like stay in the apartment for a little bit and I can go to Goodwill just later. I don't need to squeeze that in today. Fortunately, I do have some time, so I can just go tomorrow after the work day. So that's my plan with that. I think that'll be good. I'm just gonna finish up a bunch of work stuff and get organized, and then I have my berries class. And then after that, I'll come home, shower, start getting ready. And I have a couple people picking up the tiny green table and the glass thing. So that'll happen this evening. And then I'll go to dinner with Jian. And then I need to get some good sleep tonight. I'm going to go to bed by 11. I like have to because my eyes are just so swollen. And I think it's just because I haven't been getting a lot of sleep for the past week. Just because there's been so much going on and I'm booked and busy. got so many plans and that is just not happening like i just it's like hard to like open my eyes all the way like they're so puffy and heavy so we need to fix that i'm gonna actually get my ice roller out in a second and ice roll my face which will help and the best thing you can do for yourself always is get a good eight hours of sleep but sometimes that is the hardest to do i think i got six hours last night which i guess isn't awful but i'm just so used to eight hours and i just it's 
it's tough for me so that's my little update i'm glad i don't have to go to goodwill today that was gonna be kind of like crazy to squeeze in and it'll be easier to fit it in tomorrow when i don't have plans after it it'll just be after the work day so that's the move there gonna finish up all my work stuff and catch up with you guys soon Okay guys, I just finished the work day, got a bunch of stuff done, feeling very good, very relieved, but also stressed, but I'm excited to just go run it all out at Barry's. I'm going to a Barry's class. I'm very excited. I haven't been in a minute. I haven't ran in like a few months, honestly, so <laughs> it's gonna be good. Probably a little bit hard. I'm also still a bit congested, but I'm just gonna take it easy, have a good workout, sweat it out, and then come back and get ready for dinner. It's so nice having the apartment be so clean because it's just been so chaotic the past couple of weeks, honestly, in here. Obviously, there's still a bunch of stuff everywhere with like the boxes and everything, but like, it's just nice having it not be like dirty anymore because I feel like it was so dirty for a while. So it's a good feeling. from berries. I'm surprisingly not as sweaty as I thought I was gonna be. No, I was gonna make a protein shake, but I just realized I don't have any milk. And I really don't feel like going to Aldi right now and grabbing some. Well, I probably should, so I just have some in the morning. Okay, I'm gonna go run to Aldi insanely quickly. Okay, we got the goods. That was like a whole nother workout, I feel like. I'm going to quickly make this protein shake. getting the apartment messy again <laughs> all right cheers i'm gonna hop in a quick shower okay guys oh my god there's so many noises i am getting ready for dinner i need to leave in probably like an hour i put the dryer on so it's so loud so much better but i'm doing my makeup and listening to music All right guys, say goodbye to this bad boy. Someone is picking it up right now. I'm gonna miss this, I liked it. Okay guys, I'm all ready for dinner at Ava, my literal favorite restaurant in Chicago, so I can't wait. This time going there for like probably a while. I mean, I'm sure I'll, I'll find myself back in Chicago for work. Maybe even move back here one day, who knows? So it won't be my last time at this restaurant. I know they also have one in Austin, but my last time is uh, for a while at least. I don't know, it's just, it's a sentimental thing because I love that place. But let's go, I'm meeting my friend Gian. This is the fit, the top is Princess Polly. It's like 60 degrees outside, so I feel so spring. And I'm wearing these Paula shoes from Cezanne and I love them, they're so cute and like girly and flirty, which is fun. And it's gonna be a fun night. Okay guys, back from Ava. It's literally so late. It is 10.56 p.m. My plan was to go to bed at 11, but something came up with work that I need to do that I almost forgot about, but I need to finish it up tonight. So I need to work on that really quickly for bed. I'm hoping it'll just take like 30 minutes or so. I mean, we'll just see however long it takes me is how long I'm gonna take and hopefully it'll be fine but dinner was so much fun with Gian. she's just so amazing um and it's just fun to catch up with her and to give her all the life updates since there are literally so many happening right now and she's like always in new york so i'll definitely be seeing her a lot it didn't really feel as much like a goodbye because i will totally be seeing her a bunch which is amazing of course but yeah i just love abba the food was amazing if you ever go get the short rib hummus the vibes there are just to die for it's such a beautiful restaurant so i'm gonna do that work thing and then go to sleep 
I will catch up with you guys in the morning for a busy office day and my last office day of the week so it's just gonna be a bit chaotic okay guys happy Tuesday it feels like Thursday I just feel like it's been such a long week already and it's been one day but I'm headed into the office I was gonna film like a montage of me getting ready but I honestly totally forgot so here we are let's have a good day my fit the top is express the pants are princess Polly and I'm wearing my platform new balances it's like 55 degrees outside which is a sleigh <laughs> for my last office day in chicago oh my god it's my last office day in chicago you guys what a crazy time but let's do it i'm bringing um one of my coworkers a box of a bunch of like pr stuff that i don't need or want so i'm excited to give that to her Okay guys, the work day is going well. It's like 3.15. I'm meeting up with one of my old coworkers for coffee. It got freezing outside, I'm really cold. But I'm so excited to catch up with her. It's been a while, so it's gonna be fun. I am back from the office day. I was just talking to my parents on the phone because they're coming tomorrow to help me move out. I'm delirious, you guys. That's when you know when I start singing, I'm going crazy and I'm just running on pure adrenaline. That's when you know. But I'm gonna go take, oh wait, shit, 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 shit. Actually, um, someone is coming to pick up a table at 6 p.m. And then as soon as they are gone, I need to go run to Goodwill and drop off. Um, all the stuff I'm donating because it closes at 7 and it's 6 p.m. right now So I don't have too much time. I'm gonna go ahead and change into something cozier because I'm a little bit tired of this office fit I just gobbled down all the leftovers when I was on the phone. So that was amazing. I was starving Although the catered lunch today was amazing. It was Beatrix, which I'm actually going to later this So that was a sleigh for lunch. I got coffee with an old co-worker at Blue Bottle Got some nice matcha. So I'm, I'm feeling very caffeinated I also had a cold brew at the office, but it was a good office day I wrapped up everything since I'm out of office for the rest of the week so I'm feeling very good and organized with that and it's nice to just have all of that off my mind and I can focus on moving craziness I'm back from Goodwill it was quite the journey it took like 30 minutes honestly a little bit more than that but that's okay I got my stuff donated except my two books that I had they said they're not taking book donations right now so that was everything I'm glad I got that done very very excited about that that's all settled i have a ton of editing to do tonight so that's my main focus for the night since tomorrow i can really focus on packing i also have like all my beauty treatments tomorrow it's beauty treatment day it'll just make me feel refreshed before the move and like i know i'm not gonna have all my usual stuff once i'm staying in louisiana so i just want to like get all of that done so i'm like fresh for the month and then whenever i move up to new york i'll have like a bit of time before i need to like get my eyebrows redone and my nails done and my hair will be done i won't need that again for like another three months or so which will be nice so that is my plan just taking off my makeup and then i think i'm gonna make myself some tea tea has been like my new thing it's just so nice especially when it's a little chilly outside because it also warms you up yeah i really need to get started on all of my editing because that is just gonna be important to get done and luckily i don't really have to go to bed early tonight because i think my workout class is at like 8 a.m or something like that 8 20 so like nothing too early where i need to get to sleep so that's also good because that gives me plenty of time sorry that the toilet was running <laughs> during all of that but hopefully the noise wasn't too annoying i'm excited to get to editing had a nice little break there but we are gonna be back on the grind had a nice ba break from screens honestly like my whole day these days is just staring at screens all day staring at screens for work i never have any meetings that aren't on a screen or don't involve a screen and staring at meetings for content or what am i saying staring at screens for content or like creating content or staring at screens because i'm watching tv like that's literally all i do so it's really nice when i do activities like working out or seeing like a theater play or a concert or something that just doesn't involve staring 
on a screen. Reading, although I read on my Kindle, so that's like a screen, but it's not a blue light screen, which is a little bit better. Let's get to editing, making tea, and have a good productive night in. <laughs> Thursday. I stayed up really late editing, so I had to skip my workout class this morning, which sucks, but I need to film an ad this morning, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Made some coffee <laughs> to give me energy, but today's my beauty treatment day, and then my parents come in tonight. I am back from getting my nails done. It is 12.26. I have therapy at 12.30. You guys, I'm running around like a crazy person today. And while I'm on that, it's just like a phone call, so I'm gonna like walk around the apartment and like organize things. I also think just like whenever I'm physically doing something, it's easier for me to process. I just reheated my coffee from earlier. I'm getting brew delivered so I can have time to eat because I have a hair appointment at 2 p.m. Hair done and then I feel like it'll probably take like three hours and then my parents are picking me up from my hair appointment and we're gonna go to church and then come back to the apartment and have small cheval for takeout. So that's the plan. Crazy day, but I'm glad I got my eyebrows done. I think they look good. I got a fun blue for spring and it's giving um, 1989 Taylor's version, which just reminds me of New York because of the Welcome to New York opening song. I feel like it's the same shade as her Taylor's version album cover, which I love. And it's just spring energy. I'm excited. I filmed my TikTok campaign this morning with Fresh Beauty, which was like crazy. You guys, like this is the busiest I feel like I've ever been in my entire life. And it's just like insane, but we're doing it. I'm going to charge my phone during therapy. I posted during my nail appointment, my reel sharing with you guys that I'm moving to New York and my YouTube video. So, I mean, you guys have already known for a couple weeks by the time you're watching this, but I'm just excited that I'm just finally able to share that info with you guys because it's just so exciting. And I can't wait for the whole journey. Um, and this is just step one, trying to move out of this apartment. A crazy person just running around. So I'm gonna hop onto therapy and just be cleaning the apartment as I go. I was gonna wear a cuter outfit to the haircut, but like guys, I just literally don't have time. I'm wearing this sweat set today. That's what's happening. Hey guys, I am running out to my hair appointment. I had a good therapy, got some stuff like organized while I was on that. Yeah, it was very meaningful. I'm just, I'm so grateful that I have a therapist to like navigate this whole life changes with and stuff. I think it's really important. Um, obviously it's not for everyone, but it really works for me. And I'm just grateful that I have the resources to be able to do that. Let's go get some new hair, you guys. So I'm excited. I just want to do like a little refresh because it's been a few months, but should be good. I am in the middle of getting my hair done. Woo! <laughs> it's taking a bit longer than I thought, but it's a process. What's up, guys? It's been a crazy time over here. <laughs> I am driving my parents' rental car around to my apartment to pick up. I'm in the middle of getting ready, which is why I have my skincare headband on. It's now Wednesday, so that's crazy, but... So this is like the weirdest vlog angle, but basically I'm just driving the car around because we're gonna load a bunch of boxes into this rental car that then my dad is gonna drive this afternoon 
to South Bend because my parents have a place there where they're gonna store a bunch of my stuff that I don't need for the time being for the next couple of months in New York. And then eventually we'll make the drive from South Bend to New York with like all my boxes of stuff, which is nice because not everything is gonna fit in the suitcases. I really overestimated like what will fit in the suitcases. I like never drive in Chicago, so this is honestly just insane, you guys. Yeah, so my dad is gonna make a load in the rental car while my mom and I are gonna go wedding dress guest shopping this afternoon after we do brunch at Cafe Roby. So he's gonna make the drive to South Bend and then tonight we'll finish packing up all the suitcases. So today we've just been packing up a bunch of boxes of like random like kitchen stuff, breakables, just like stuff that's really hard to pack in suitcases or just like winter clothes and like my ski helmet, things like that that I just like don't need right now or for the time being, I just won't need them. So yeah, that is then, let's see, I feel like this turn is kind of crazy. Turning on the six point intersection, you guys. Look at me go. I'm a driving vlogger now. I feel like you guys have never seen me drive. I mean, this is like the worst angle I think ever. It's not very flattering or probably <laughs> aesthetically pleasing, but this is all I can figure out. For just a quick little update, because it's hard to update you guys with so many moving parts and with my parents there, I like don't really vlog in front of my parents. I feel like they just would be like, what are you doing, Lucia? Like, so <laughs> just updating you guys while I have a quick sec to myself. But yeah, it's getting really crazy. It's honestly, it's so chaotic in my apartment right now. There's just stuff everywhere and i think i had a lot more stuff than i kind of was telling my parents because i just thought i didn't really have that much stuff but i really do have a lot of items that will be good to keep and i'm glad that i'm able to just store them in south bend for the time being and then eventually we'll drive them over i don't know why this car is passing me but whatever so yeah, that's the update. Moving is going well. I just like can't believe tomorrow night I'm gonna be leaving. I think I'm gonna sob. But yeah, that is my little Thursday check-in. I'm back from the car. I'm just quickly gonna do some makeup before we go to brunch. So we loaded up a lot of stuff, which is honestly nice because there's not too much going on in here anymore. I was getting so overwhelmed and stressed with just like the sheer amount of things on the floor because we were just like getting everything sorted. But now that we got like 10 boxes of stuff out, there's just so much less to deal with. And now it's all just like the fun stuff, like my clothes and things like that. So feeling a lot better, a lot less stress. My parents are just like loading up the car with the last load of boxes while I finish my makeup. I wanted to do like a full face of foundation, but I just don't have time for that. So we just have our tinted moisturizer and concealer on. Maybe tomorrow for my last day, I'll do the full face so I can take some fun pics. In the apartment for the last time, oh my God, you guys, it's just, it's honestly so chaotic today, but I think we got a lot done this morning. And then for the rest of the day, we're pretty much just gonna be dress shopping. So I'm gonna vlog that on like vertical format in shorts. So I'll do a short of like a compilation of all the places that we go for guest wedding shopping and stuff. So that'll be in that if you guys are interested in seeing that content. Yeah, I really need to quickly finish this up real quick. I'm stressed and I just feel this like tension in my shoulders. Like I, I stand like this, I need to relax a little bit. Okay, just quickly doing my mascara. All right guys, so I'm all ready. I'm kind of breaking out. I think just because I'm stressed, that's great. And I haven't gotten a ton of sleep this week, but hopefully it goes away soon. You guys know my skin just really frustrates me beyond annoying me right now but at least my hair looks good and okay we're gonna go to cafe roby and have a little break from packing and go wedding guest dress shopping downtown let's go hello guys it is friday now and <laughs> I'm about to leave the apartment. I'm like so emotional. <laughs> it's just so sad. Like I just don't know when I'm gonna be in Chicago again. And I just like loved this apartment. And this chapter of my life was so good. And yeah, anyway, all of the boxes of all my like kitchen stuff and like random things like that, my dad took 
and is storing in Indiana. And then we're just packing up suitcases filled with all my clothes and it's just like random stuff that I'm gonna want in the next couple of months before I find my place in New York. But I just am not ready to say goodbye. It's just like all happening so fast. And I like, <laughs> I'm just really gonna miss it. And like everything that comes with this move, it's just so hard. But like, I'm so excited. It's just, it's really hard to say goodbye, but it's time. So I'm gonna load up some stuff onto this cart to bring down to the car. Okay, that's enough to bring down for now. We just have a few carry-ons left. My parents are trying to fit everything into the rental car we have. The rental car honestly isn't really that big. That's why we had to do two trips. So it's like a Ford Edge or something. But this is crazy. Ah!